To deliver babies is an immense privilege. It's a time where a woman is bringing to the world the most loved possession ever. Dr. Rodriguez is more than special and unique. I mean, I wouldn't have a family without her. I, I wouldn't. I was a high-risk patient. I wasn't really sure if anybody was going to take on me as um, a pregnant woman t twice. <laughs> I met Katie in the postpartum floor and she approached me and she told me that um, she had been on oral contraceptives and that she developed a, a clot in the brain that then led to hydrocephalus. She didn't think that she could conceive. And I told her, yes, there are risks, but life is full of risk. If you're willing to do it, I will help you in whichever way I can. She is just one of those doctors that you can just pretty much throw anything at and uh, she'll take it and she'll run with it. She had a cesarean section and it was a wonderful moment to get the baby out, to show her the baby through the uh, plastic covering. So this is Colin, uh, he's three weeks old. And uh, this is Maeve, she's three and a half. I mean, these are basically success stories you're looking at right now. She helped make me a mom and I didn't know if that was possible in the beginning. So I owe my, my family to her. <laughs> yeah, I do. I owe my family to her, so. There's a personal touch that is very heartwarming. She is very calm, very reassuring, very empathetic. All the things that we would love to see every physician demonstrate, she does. Yesterday, she did 10 deliveries and three cesarean sections. And I'm sure you would never know that she had that kind of a day. How do I recharge? When I'm home, I um, love to spend time with my family and one of the main things that I really do is um, to be in the kitchen just because I have uh, three teenage boys and they always want to eat. <laughs> I was trying to make her see all of the things that she does do for others. She will continue to tell me I'm just doing my job. Dr. Rodriguez, uh, as it turns out, is the physician of choice for many of the women who work here. Now the word is out. I think that it's always good to keep moving forward. I um, instituted a mentoring program for women physicians, and I've matched several couples within that mentoring program. It makes me feel good to, uh, to be able to make a difference. Recognizing someone like Carmen and having her in a position of leadership where she has a bigger platform for the kind of medicine she practices and teaches and espouses, I think is all for the good. Talking about the medical staff and becoming president and being the first woman president for the institution, it's exciting to be able to make a difference in uh, women's recognition uh, to medicine and beyond. I always wanted to help people. It's something that brings me a lot of joy to be able to, to heal and to make someone else's life better.